Hello all. Now let us get into the details of the host monitor. So in the left pane, if you click on hosts, we can see all the hosts that are monitored. So I've just added two hosts here. So if you click on the first one, we can see all the details about the host. So in the in the home page of the host, we can see the hosts that are added and this icon gives us what is the OS of the machine and it also states here as Windows and then it's it's belonging to AWS and then the CPU utilization, memory utilization, disk latency, network traffic. So these are the information that we can get uh, directly from the host page. In addition to that, we have a lot of filters here that, that can help us in filtering out a particular type of uh, uh, OS or the devices that we want. So let's just get into the further details of this. So if you just click on the on one of the hosts, here it gives us these four information in in the first pane that is the CPU utilization, memory utilization, the NIC information, and the disk information. So if we just validate the same thing by going uh, into the server, we can see that the CPU is uh, one percent, which is shown here. It's fluctuating bet between one to five percent. Memory is 82% as is shown here. It says 80%. Okay, so there is one disk. Uh, of course, there is only one disk. That's what I know. So if you just go here, yeah, there's only one disk. So let's get into this. As you click on the CPU, we get the details of the CPU, uh, like the idle CPU use uses CPU util uh, utilization and the system utilization. So this is the graphs that that we can see and just hovering over at a particular time we can see the values that it has uh, consumed if you click on the consuming process we will get into much detail as to what are the different processes and then what is the cpu utilization it's taking memory utilization it is taking traffic etc so going back here if you click on the memory there's the same it gives us the idle memory user memory and the system memory sorry uh, so memory gives us uh, memory usage, page faults, and swap usage. So, as we can see, if you just click on each of these tab here, we will get the values varying. So, this is uh, the total uh, memory, reclaimable memory, use memory, page faults, values, and the swap usage used and total. Clicking on this will give us the consumed uh, memory per process. Going back here click on disk we can see disk related information like the disk throughput is the read and write disk iops read and write disk latency uh, read and write disk space utilization so as we can see it's it's consumed around 55 percent that's what it says going back here it, it is consumed around 50 percent i guess yeah close to 50 percent so uh, this is a beautiful uh, information of the OS of the particular OS detail or the infra de details with respect to that particular host. The next uh, part of the pane is uh, the no problem pane which basically uh, shows if there are any different problems that has been triggered on this particular host. So all the problems with respect to this particular server will be listed here. Next is the availability which is uh, if, the, if the server had gone down for some period of time so if we just uh, see here so uh, just for our instance what we will do is we will go here and we will we will just restart it reboot the instance okay and we will I'll show you what it means okay so this is the hundred percent availability so this is this is the two processes that I could found and it started monitoring we all with respect to Amazon and if you click on all processes it shows all the different processes that are there on this particular host and accordingly it will also show me the CPU utilization, memory, traffic, retransmission, connectivity, IOPS all the information will be easily captured and easily viewed without having to worry much so it's a very beautifully uh, crafted tool I can say and you see, uh, while I had to monitor this, it asked me to restart the service. So uh, I had restarted the service. So there are two events, and it, it clearly shows here though that two process restarted happened. And this is the time when I restarted the two services on on the particular on this particular host. 
so it and related to this there are three locks also available so this is a very beautifully uh, uh, showcased uh, tool as we can see so let's go to host let's go to the second server and uh, I hope the server will is up by now here we can also uh, you know, use the filter to show what are the different uh, timelines that we want to pick up the data for so last 30 minutes will give us this so as we can see I had rebooted this particular host and it is showing me it was uh, shut down or it is not available so 92% of the time available whereas if you go to the first host I had not rebooted this particular host and it's all 100% available and, and another important thing here I have to discuss is if you just expand this we get all the information related to this particular host it gives the host name it gives the agent version MID architecture available zone cloud all the information with respect to this particular host in addition to that the most important thing is with respect to the tags here tags help us in associating a particular host or host to particular categories if I click on host I have to give some information so I have uh, given information like this is the OS and the tag name is Windows DYT AGT so I just copy this uh, go back to the host one sorry host two and then I will click on this add tag I'll give this, this OS the value as this click on add and get appeared here so wherever uh, I want to associate a particular host then accordingly I can do this for Linux host I can add it as Linux DYT AGT which means that Windows Dynatrace agent or Linux Dynatrace agent so accordingly when I have to apply certain rules for bulk number of hosts I can use the tags and do it thank you